2018, I want to share with you something that a dear sister called me the other day and shared with me about what the Holy Spirit of God explained to her. And here's what it is. The Lord let her know that there are people who are wrapped and that there are people who are unwrapped. And you know this goes for everybody. Whether you are born again or not, there are people who are wrapped and there's people who are unwrapped. And you will fall into one of those two categories. And let me explain to you and expound on it what the Lord shared this idea, this truth with this dear sister. So don't pull your toes back. If you are a person that are wrapped, leave your toes out there so the Holy Spirit of God can step on them, humble you, and help you to change from the error of your way. If you are unwrapped, well, God bless you and allow God to continue to unwrap you. You see, God revealed to this dear sister that there are people that are wrapped up in themselves. That their perspective, the most important person in their life is themselves. And they will talk about, let me turn this off a minute. They will talk about their life. They talk about their education. They like talking about their hunting and fishing and the things that they do. They love bragging about themselves. They enjoy being boisterous and proud. They're all wrapped up in themselves. They are the most important person in their life. They're all wrapped up in themselves. They're wrapped. And these people are not able to see the needs of others because they're too busy looking at their needs or things that they have. and bragging about what they have, whether it's a new car, a new shiny boat, a yacht, their new home, the new carpet. And it's all about them. You know, it's like I've told you before. They have a me attitude. It's all about me. It's all about me, 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 you know? This is my life. I'm going to live it for myself. You know, Elvis sung the song, I did it my way. Not God's way, I did it my way. But you know, Elvis didn't write the song, but he was asked to sing that song. But you know, Elvis sung many gospel songs. And that old guy that was his manager wouldn't allow him to sing gospel songs at his concerts. But we ain't talking about Elvis. We're talking about those people who are wrapped and unwrapped. People that are wrapped up in themselves. It's all about them. It's all about me. And let me tell you the reason why that's so bad. It's because you say it's my car. It's my house. It's mine. It's all mine. Friend, 
don't you understand that by the sheer grace and mercy of God you may have put yourself through college but you sure didn't provide the air that you're breathing you're not the one that is protecting you day after day from the onslaught of Satan friend we truly do not know just how merciful our God is just how long suffering and I feel his holy presence so strong right at this moment we have no idea how many times that our God has protected us from death how many times the devil may have asked to snuff us out and just to kill us and God said absolutely not you will not touch my anointing you will not do my people any harm you don't know how many times the devil may have asked to kill you friend I'm telling you I feel the Holy Ghost so strong in this little truck right now because I am sharing something with you that he obviously puts his stamp of approval on through his presence being so strong in what I'm telling you. And you're going to find out as we get closer and closer and closer to the rapture of the church, to the rapture of his body, you're going to find out, my friend, what it means to have Jesus Christ as your Lord. We know what it means to have him as our Savior, but do we know what it means to have Jesus as our Lord, our God? You see, we think that we are gods and that Jesus is our servant. Friend, Jesus is our God and we are his servant. But what's so great about Jesus is the way he wants us to serve him is the way he serves us. Jesus Christ came to serve us, to give us eternal life. And in exchange, he wants us to return the favor, so to speak. He has come to first give us his life and to give us eternal life. He gave us his life on the cross. In exchange, he wants us to give him our life not on a cross but the way we live day after day after day we are not to be killed on a cross but he tells us to be a living sacrifice to do things which are pleasing in his eyes to walk in the good works that he has already established that we would walk in Friend, let me tell you something. A lot of you think that when the rapture happens, you're going to, you know, in your pride and in your boasting, going to stand before God and say, Hey, Jesus, how are you doing, buddy? No, we are going to fall on our knees before the power of our God. And it is not a terrifying power, but it's going to be a realization that we are nothing before him. And friend, it would do you good right now to realize that you are nothing. And I am nothing without him. I am nothing. Asa Pittman is nothing. I am nothing. Jesus said, I am the vine and you're the branch. Without me, you can do nothing. 
The fact that I'm in this old truck driving to work is by the grace and mercy of God. I've lived 56 years of my life without a heartache, without a heartache, excuse me. <laughs> oh, I've had some heartaches. Without a heart attack, without a stroke. But the Bible says what you sow, you reap. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I try to live a healthy life. Stay away from things that can hurt me like motorcycles and skateboards and skates and bungee jumping and airplane dri uh, diving. No. I plan on keeping my feet on the ground until the trumpet sounds and I can, I'll fly then. But friend, listen. If you are wrapped up in yourselves, friend, you need to get unwrapped. And let me tell you real quick before I have this end, of it, end this video what it means to be unwrapped. It means to die to yourself. It means like the Bible says that you think of others more highly than you think of yourselves. Well, don't nobody want to do that because that goes totally against what your body wants. But friend, Jesus did not think of himself. He thought of us. And the Bible says that we are to love one another. That we are to love our enemies. We are to do good to those who despitefully use us. We are to think of others. We are to think of others. Get this thing in gear so I can go. We are to think of others more than we think of ourselves. You say, that ain't in the Bible. Oh, yes, it is. And it's in the New Testament. You need to look it up. I may be wrong, but I think it's in Timothy or... But anyway, you'll find it. You know, if we would put our cell phones down long enough and turn the TV off long enough, we could get in God's Word and find out you will be amazed at what you find from uh, Romans chapter 1 to the last word in the book of Jude. What's in the epistles to the churches? Friend, you need to get unwrapped. You need to realize everything that you got physically, mentally, and spiritually all came from the hand of our loving God. We were born into this world with nothing and naked. And friend, that's exactly how we're going to leave this world. Well, I've got to end this video. Friend, if you are wrapped, you need to get unwrapped and start being a servant to Jesus Christ. And if you are unwrapped, praise God. Continue to stay unwrapped and get even more unwrapped so that we can walk like Jesus says, not my will, Father, but your will. That's what it's all about. Not my will, but your will. God bless you.